And um, don't you wish that the days of your life that change everything came with neon signs at the foot of your bed in the morning? Wouldn't that be cool? If you get up in the morning and there's a neon sign at the bottom of your bed, and it would be flashing saying, your world is going to change today. Unfortunately, we don't get that luxury in our lives, and we end up um, t looking back and thinking, wow, that, that moment changed my life. Well, I believe tonight that God is going to speak to your heart for a harvest of your home and your family. A lot of years ago, I preached on household salvation. I'm the first generation in over 200 years of my family that were, has been born and lived without being an alcoholic. Every Cameron in our family were alcoholics. And two young preachers came to our town in Scotland and had six weeks of services in someone's bedroom because no one would give him a building to preach in. So this guy took his bed out in his chest of drawers and the wardrobe and put some chairs in. And these two young preachers had um, 96 converts, believe it or not, over 67, uh, over six weeks. And out of the 96 converts, 67 of them were Camerons. And God, in a six-week space of time, totally revolutionized our family from a bunch of alcoholics that would lie in the gutter all weekend. And you see them, when you went to work on Monday morning, we, we were the family lying in the gutter, completely ruined by alcohol. And those two young preachers that had just come out of Bible school were speaking every night, and someone, someone would get saved every night and say, what's your name, Cameron? What's your name, Cameron? What's your name, Cameron? And they thought they were Billy Grahams. They thought, my Lord, our ministry is going to be huge. The truth of the matter was that one of my uncles, my dad's oldest brother, Michael, had got saved seven years before and had a burden to see his family saved. And he prayed nonstop for seven years. Laughed at, mocked at, joked about. They, tried to, they thought he'd gone crazy, and they tried to make him lose his temper, and they switched the radio on to try and let him get him to sing worldly. I mean, they did everything to break his spirit for seven years. And then one morning when these two young boys came into our little town in the northeast corner of Scotland, they had no idea that they had intercepted and intersected with the plan and the purpose of God, and the whole world would change for a family. And I'm here tonight because two boys 50-odd years ago in Scotland went to a little fishing town in the middle of nowhere and preached the gospel, and it works. Amen. And somehow, I don't know why, but I have got a feeling in my heart that tonight is going to be one of those kind of nights for you. I believe that your whole future can change when a rhema word from God comes into your heart. You don't have to live in your family's situation the way it is. You don't have to have your heart broken by your sons and daughters every day. There's a God that's bigger than they are. There's a God that's bigger than their circumstance, and He loves you with a love that is everlasting. And he wants to connect with you tonight.